and gentlemen, the academic procession is about to enter. May I request you all to kindly rise to welcome them. Thank you. Please be seated. I now call upon Mr. Satwik for the invocation. Mr. M. Chandrasekhar from Ramakrishna Math will accompany him on tabla. I request the audience to please remain seated. Mahaganapati manasa smayarayavi mahaganapati manasa smayarayavi mahaganapati pasishtavam devadi vandita mahaganapati Thank you friends. I now request Professor Dinesh Jayagopi to welcome the gathering. Navu aduva matu Higarelli Kelea, Mrudu Vachana Murloka Muttudu Thilia, Mauna Moggeye Nodetu Matarali Barali. So said the Sahitya Academy award winning Kannada poet Chenna Veera Kanavi. It is translated as Let our communication be gentle. Gentle communication conquers the entire universe. Let our communication blossom from silence. The poet emphasizes the power of thoughtful and gentle communication. May these wise thoughts and words guide us. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is in the spirit of this message that I, on behalf of the chairman, members of the governing body, director, faculty, staff, students, and alumni of IIIT Bangalore, welcome our chief guest, Professor Partha Pradeem Chakrabarti, director, IIT Karakpur. To formally introduce our eminent guest, Professor Partha Pratim Chakrabarti, Professor Chakrabarti took charge as the director of IIT Karakpur in 2013. Over several years, he has made several pioneering research contributions in computer science and championed the cause of innovation and entrepreneurship. He received the President of India Gold Medal 1985, Anil K. Bose Award 1995, the Swarna Jayanti Fellowship 1997-98, Shanti Swarup Badnagar Prize 2000, INAE Vishweshwaraya Chair Professorship 2007-2009, JC Bose National Award 2013, and many other awards. He has been elected a Fellow of the Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi, the Indian Academy of Science, Bangalore, and the Indian National Academy of Engineering. We heartily welcome you, sir. I now welcome Sri S. Gopalakrishnan, the Chairman of the Governing Body of IIIT Bangalore, Co-Founder and Vice Chairman of Infosys. We welcome you, sir. I welcome the members of the governing body, the general body of IIIT Bangalore, and our director, Professor S. Saragopan. We, we welcome you, sir. It is also my pleasure to welcome the CEOs and executives of IT companies, officials of the government of Karnataka, and the members of Academia. Finally, a special welcome to all the graduating students and their families, other students, the press, and the invitees. Once again, I welcome all of you. Thank you, sir. I request our chief guest, chairman, members of the governing body, and the director to kindly light the lamp. Two students, Pavitra and Pushkaras, will also join. I request our chairman, Mr. S. Gopalakrishnan, to declare the convocation open. I declare the 14th convocation of the International Institute of Information Technology, Bangalore, open. Thank you, sir. I request our director, Professor S. Sedagopan, to present the annual report of the institute. Good morning. Chief guest of the day, Professor Partho Prithim Chakrabarti, director, IIT Kadakpur, chairman of the governing body, Mr. S. Gopalakrishnan, co-founder and vice chairman Infosys, other members of the governing body, members of the Senate, my distinguished faculty colleagues, faculty colleagues from sister institutions, my dear students, especially the graduating students, parents of our students, again, especially parents of our graduating students, and sometimes their spouses, alumni, staff, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 14th Convocation of IIITB. I do not want to stand in the way of our students getting their degrees, yet it is customary to present some highlights of the Institute on this very special occasion. Please permit me to do so. The year 2013-14 is very special 
in the evolution of this very young institution, five major initiatives got started this year. A unique MTech program in the area of electronic system design, ESD, was started. The second is a sponsored MTech program for Samsung India employees. We started with 30 employees of Samsung India in Bangalore and the program started in January 2014 and classes are held on Fridays and Saturdays and the students are expected to complete a program over a three-year period. Third, Udan program as part of the national mission to empower youth from Jammu Kashmir, 26 engineering students were trained over nine months in IIITB in partnership with Infosys. Fourth, in partnership with industry, two batches of three-month-long weekend program on analytics essentials was launched and we had completed two batches. The third batch is about to start next month. A nine-month-long postgraduate program in software development got started in the May 2014 for 30 select students from our neighboring country, Myanmar. This truly reflects the international flavor of IIITB. This is the first step in this ambitious program of mentoring that IIITB has been asked to provide by the Ministry of External Affairs of the Government of India. Together with the government of Myanmar, we are supposed to assist that country in creating a world-class university in Myanmar under the name of Myanmar Institute of Information Technology. This is a 10-year-long project, five years of hand-holding and intense teaching by IIITB and five years of mentoring beyond. A peer team of NAC, National Assessment and Accreditation Council, visited IIITB during March 17th to 19th and classified IIITB in A category. This year, particularly for all of us in the faculty, six students graduate with research degrees, three PhD students and three MS by research students graduate today. Though small in absolute numbers, for a young institute, it means a lot and we hope to touch a double degree figure next year. And finally, deans take charge as part of the distributed decision making, the governing body, through a fair and rigorous process, selected Professor Balaji Parthsarthi as a Dean of Faculty Affairs and Professor Devabrata Das as Dean of Academics and R&D. And they took charge on January 1st, 2014. <laughs> on the infrastructure front, the new hostel block will be ready in the first early part of 2015. Significant enhancement to our data center and network infrastructure are being made. They are likely to be completed before September. Our governing body not only give their valuable time and guidance, and time and again they have been kind of helping us. Just today in the board meeting, Mrs. Sudhamurthy agreed to endow two chair positions at IIITB, each with a grant of rupees three crores. Give them a big hand. We have a long way to go, but our baby steps in the past 14 years are indeed reassuring. With this, let me once again thank all of you who have contributed to our short yet successful journey of excellence. Congratulations to the graduating batch. Welcome one and all, and thank you again. Thank you, sir. I request our director, Professor S. Salagopin, to kindly seek permission from the chairman, Mr. S. Gopal Krishnan, to present the PhD, MS by research, and MTech degrees to the respective students of the graduating class. Sir, I have the honor of requesting you to permit us to present the students who have qualified for the PhD, MS by research, and MTech degrees. This convocation has been called to confer the relevant degrees upon the candidates who have been certified to be worthy of the same. Let the candidates stand forward and take the oath. Thank you, sir. I request our registrar to administer the oath to the students of the graduating class that shall guide them throughout their lives. 
the students of the graduating class are requested to rise and take the oath i hereby solemnly declare and promise i hereby solemnly declare and promise that if admitted to the degree that if admitted to the degree for which i have been recommended i shall in my daily life i shall in my daily life and conversation and conversation conduct myself as befits conduct myself as befits a member of this institute member of this institute that i shall that i shall to the utmost of my capacity and opportunity to the utmost of my capacity and opportunity support the cause of my morality support the cause of my morality and sound learning and that, and that as far as in me lies as far as in me lies i shall uphold and advance i shall uphold and advance the social order and the well being social order and the well being of my fellow citizens of my fellow citizens i shall faithfully and carefully i shall faithfully and carefully fulfill the duties of the profession fulfill the duties of the profession to which i may be admitted by virtue of my degree by virtue of my degree that i shall on all occasions that i shall on all occasions maintain its purity and reputation maintain its purity and reputation and i shall never deviate and i shall never deviate from the straight path of honorable exercise from the straight path of honorable exercise and i shall and i shall by my actions make india legitimately proud of myself make india legitimately proud of myself thank you thank you sir thank you friends i request our director professor s sadagopan to request our chairman mr s gopal krishnan to accept the students who have qualified for the relevant degree sir as director i have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for the award of phd ms by research and master of technology whose names are set out in the list they have been found qualified for the said degree to which i pray they may be admitted by virtue of the authority vested in me as the chairman of the governing body and upon the recommendation of the senate of international institute of information technology bangalore i admit all the qualified candidates to the relevant degree thank you sir i request our chairman mr s gopalakrishnan to distribute the degrees to the graduating students the degrees will be first distributed to phd students followed by ms by research students and then to mtech students Thank you sir and thank you friends I request our chairman Mr S Gopalakrishnan to sign the register confirming the award of degrees to the graduating students Thank you sir I request our chief guest Professor Partha Pratim Chakravarti to kindly give away the medals and prizes to the students now request our chief guest professor chakrabarti to deliver the convocation address respected members of the governing body chairman mr s gopalakrishnan director professor sadgopan members of the senate faculty staff students parents and most importantly graduating students it's indeed a great pleasure for me to be part of this 14th convocation of this institute this institute born 
a decade and a half ago, was born out of the urges of a nation wanting to become leaders in the emerging fields of information and communication technology. It takes a while for an institution to grow and it takes a while for an institution to mature. And I am truly amazed and delighted to see the rapid growth that this institution has made in the span of 14, 15 years. This institution, as I was very cursorily hearing in the governing body meeting, is evolving with a vision of the future. And the vision of the future is such and changes in such a way that it is difficult to even look a few years beyond. The most important aspect in our field, the field in which you all are going to graduate, is connectivity with the real world. If you look at the world which has evolved today, there is the world of real, but there is the world of the virtual. And we are almost struck off the world of the real in the world of the virtual. But it is important to connect with the world of the real because the problems that we as a community, as persons of this discipline can address have now reached a stage where we can address the world of the real. And I was very happy to see the courses on analytics and the other courses that have come up. The amount of work, that uh, discussion on the internet of things. But still, are we doing something which we could do for water? Are we doing something which we could do for environment? Are we doing something which would improve the quality of lives. All of us and all of you will actually make a lot of money, which is good. Making the life of luxurious people more comfortable. They live in luxury, they have a lot of money, they want more luxury and you will provide them more luxury. And they will pay you for that. But if we do only 90% of that work only, then we will see that eventually there will be a bigger problem. So it is important that we also try to address using the technology and learning that we have, both as an institution as well as graduating people going out in the near world, to solve problems of people who have nothing. And the people who actually re require the technology that we have. But for that, we have to transform the technology into scalable, low cost, easily usable technology. And that is hard. So an institution of your size of this size, with all its you know, niche areas of competence, can definitely do so by collaborating with larger organizations and institutions, which will be very happy to work with IIIT Bangalore and use their expertise in solving problems that they are grappling with. And my institution is one of them. So I would again request that this institution connects with other people, connects with other institutions so that they can grow while they are going to grow organically. And I heard your director and I was t talking to some of the faculty members to know that this institution is going to grow rapidly into taking larger set of students and provide more knowledge, do more research. But I think it will be imperative if we can connect 
to a bigger set of people and have the critical mass to do real big things. And academic institutions have now embarked on absolutely large projects which require all to come together. I also think that IIIT Bangalore can take leadership in some niche areas. I was talking to some people here whom I know and I was hearing some discussions in the board and I was hearing what your director was saying and I believe that there is a time has come for IIIT Bangalore to take leadership. To take leadership with courage and once you really put your foot forward, I think there will be more encouragement that you got spontaneously from Sudha Murthy and others to support you. This country does support people who have the courage to move forward. And I'm very happy that IIIT Bangalore is being supported by a lot of good well-wishers. Again, I wish you all the best. I wish you do great things. And I will be very happy to see more and more good things come out of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for that thought-provoking speech. I request our chairman, Mr. S. Gopalakrishnan, to address the gathering. Professor Partha Pridhim Chakravarti, Professor Sadagopan, members of the governing body, members of the Senate, students, graduates, parents, family members, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by congratulating the graduating class of um, 2014. There are significant opportunities as you step into the corporate world, the academic world, step out of your student life into the next phase of your life. And uh, especially in the field in which you are, information technology, uh, the opportunities are significant. And the opportunity is not just in the field, in information technology, in electronics, but the application of this in every walks of our life. In fact, uh, in the uh, governing board meeting today, we had a discussion about uh, a, a grant from Cisco to create a smart city in Electronic City. Electronic City is a township uh, using technologies that allow computing, processing to be deployed in sensors, to network these, to connect these, and provide better quality of life, better security, better traffic management, better services to the people who are working in electronic city. This kind of impact of information technology in every aspect of our life is going to create huge opportunities for each one of you in the area of healthcare, in the area of education, in the area of citizen services, in the area of uh, transportation. You know, if you look at the cars of the future, in the area of sustainable energy, water, uh, Professor Chakravarti talked about this, huge, huge opportunities are going to be before you to make an impact, to create an impact, to come out with new ideas, new thoughts, new models. And I strongly believe that this is going to be an exciting future for you. In some, some ways, I actually, I'm envious of each one of you today because you are at the beginning of that journey, whereas I'm almost at the end of that journey in some sense, whereas you are at the beginning of that journey and huge opportunities are in front of you. I always believe that there is a reason why we need to do cutting edge research, cutting edge innovation in India, here in India, because of the unique opportunity that India provides to the world. And that unique opportunity, Professor Chakravarti touched upon this actually, is because 
a large percentage of our people, 33% of people are illiterate, around 30%, and the same, num same percentage of people are considered really poor in India today, less than $1 of income per day. And that's very, very poor. Now, if a solution is developed in, let's say, US or Europe, the solution will be too expensive for India, for majority of Indians. At least two-thirds of Indians cannot afford those solutions. So clearly, there is a vested interest in every one of us, actually, to make sure that cutting-edge research and innovation happens here in India. Second reason why cutting-edge research has to happen in India is because the solutions of the 20th century, which created a consuming society, an economy that's based on consumption, has created a world that's today not livable. It's creating pollution, it's creating hazards, it's creating waste, which we do not know what we can be doing. It's based on consumption, and consumption where we are borrowing from the future and future generations, actually, and living a world that's unlivable for future generations. So as we graduate today, I thought I'll share these thoughts with you. I want each one of you to have the best of the future. I wish uh, you all the very best. Make the Institute proud of uh, you. Uh, because, you know, this Institute is not brick and mortar and you know computers and things like that it's about the people it graduates the contribution it makes to society and that's what the faculty will feel proud about that's what you will feel proud tomorrow to say i am part of the graduating class of 2014 thank you very much thank you sir for that challenging message i request our graduating student Mr. Kausal Maladi to give the valedictory address. Good afternoon to one and all. Firstly, I would like to thank my parents because of whom I am what I am and my sister who came all the way to uh, witness this grand occasion. I would also like to thank the chief guest, Professor Chakrabarti, and the chairman, Mr. Gopal Krishnan, for gracing the occasion with their presence and presenting their words of inspiration and advice to all of us, the graduating students. In these two years of study, there have been a few people who took the brunt of most of the happenings in the Institute. On behalf of every one of us, I would like to thank the Student Activity Committee, famously nicknamed SAC, for being our interface to everything. <laughs> Thanks to the Food Committee, which always strived hard to ensure we all got hygienic and tasty food. Special thanks to the music club, Spick McKay team, movie club, and volunteers for several other activities who ensured we have sufficient entertainment amid studies. Last but not the least, let's thank the placement committee for spending time and energy, day and night working for all of us while we all have been preparing for our own placements. I wish you, my friends, all the best for future endeavors. Finally, thank you again for giving me this memorable opportunity. Thank you, Kaushal. I now request Professor B. Ashok to deliver the vote of thanks. Uh, honorable dignitaries on the days, guests and all members of the IIITV family. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, an honor and a pleasure to propose a vote of thanks to you all on behalf of IIITV in the concluding moments of this, the 14th annual convocation. We thank you, Professor Chakravarti, for your presence here and for your inspiring address to our graduates and to the assembly at large. We deeply appreciate your gesture of joining us on this day when we finally send out our students to make their mark in the wider world. Our sincere thanks and gratitude to our governing body, its chairman, Mr. S. Gopalakrishnan, and all the members for the continued support and guidance to the Institute and their active interest in its well-being. Our thanks to Mr. Gopalakrishnan for his words of advice to our graduating, council, our graduating class today. Our thanks to the government of Karnataka and the government of India for the support to the Institute from the day of its inception and through the years. We would also like to put on record our sincere gratitude to all the generous sponsors whose financial contributions have made it possible to institute scholarships and awards as tokens of recognition to students for meritorious academic performance 
and for enhancing the professional life at the Institute. Our thanks to the several IT companies and the various academic institutions in the country and abroad for the continued partnerships with the Institute in research activities and in academic co collaborations in various fields. Our thanks to Professor Sadagopan, our director, and to all the members of the Senate, our scientific and administrative staff, all students past and present, the members of the security and to the housekeeping detail, all of whom have kept the Institute running efficiently, moving from strength to strength. And for many of you who have put it in your efforts quietly, routinely, and behind the limelight, a special note of thanks and our gratitude. To all our guests, to the parents and well-wishers of our gratitude, and to the representatives of the media who might be present here today, thank you for your presence and for your continued support to the Institute. To you, our graduates, heartiest congratulations, and our best wishes go with you today as you each go on your own way in life. We trust that you will excel in all your endeavors and will make us proud to rank you among our alumni. Congratulations again. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you, sir. I now request our chairman to kindly hand over a memento as a token of our appreciation. I request our chairman to declare the convocation closed. I declare the 14th convocation of the International Institute of Information Technology, Bangalore, closed. Thank you, sir. I request the gathering to kindly rise for the national anthem. We urge the audience to sing along. request our guests on stage to kindly proceed for lunch at the main building. I request the audience to kindly remain seated till the guests leave the